Hi, and welcome to this video of Dynamics 365 Talk, where we'll be talking about the ability to push data from Dynamics into PDF documents using Word templates. Now, we already knew that we could pre-configure these Word templates to push data from Dynamics 365, but now we have the option to use the same Word templates and then actually generate a PDF document. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to also show you how to actually set up that Word template and then how to turn on the functionality to turn that into a PDF document. But before we dive into it, I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Dion Taylor. You can take a look at my blog on d365goddess.com or follow me on Twitter at D365 Goddess. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is kind of show you what the end result is going to be. So I'm just going to navigate to one of my opportunities here that has some items related to it. And I believe this guy actually has some product line items related to that opportunity as well. Let me click here on product line items. So yeah, so I have, as you can see, three different products here. Go back here to the summary. I have an opportunity ID, etc. So what I'm going to do here, you can see here that it says create PDF or email as PDF, but I also still have the ability to actually create a Word document by using my Word templates. Now again, if I'm clicking on email as PDF, it will create that PDF, attach it to that email, and then open up my Compose window. I'm just gonna go ahead and create my PDF. Again, here are my Word templates that are available. And as you can see, it's pushing that opportunity data right now into that PDF. Let's give it a second. So let's go ahead and save that PDF. And let's take a look at that. So we can see here that it's actually pulling in information from that opportunity related to the account record and the contact record. And here's some data from the actual opportunity. I have my owner, I have my quote ID, my description. And then here we have quantity, description, unit price. Could have put some manual discounts in there as well, but I don't have those. And then again, here's that total, the total amounts as well. So that's what the end result is going to be. So let's start with actually creating that word template. So I'm just gonna navigate here to my advanced settings. And then I'm going to templates under settings. And then here you can see document templates. So let's click on that. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on this new button. And as you can see, it's now asking me either if I want to create an Excel template or a Word template. And obviously that's going to be a Word template. I'm going to select the opportunity entity and then I'm going to click on a select entity. Now this screen shows the one to many relationships, the many to one relationships and the many to many relationships, as you can see with that opportunity entity. And we want to use this because now we can pull in related data. Right. So, for example, let's just go look at the products. You can see here product opportunities is a one to many relationship. We want to make sure that we can actually pull in the related products into that Word document. Right. So I definitely want to select that one. I also want to pull in the account data related to this opportunity. So my opportunity customer account. I want to add that and I also have 
me just go back to that opportunity here. I have a contact record here as well. So I want to pull in his information as well. So I got to make sure I know which field that is and I know or which relationship that is. And that is my opportunity parent contact. So let's see if we can find that as well. And here it is my opportunity parent contact. And then there's one more that I want to be able to use. And that is the owner field on the opportunity because I want to have the sales reps information in there as well. So let's see if I can find that. That is opportunity owning user. Oh, and here it is. And I now have all of the relationships that I need. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download template. And here is my, I'm going to call it opportunity template. I'm going to save that and I'm going to open that. Now, as you can see, that is completely blank, but we'll talk about that in a second. The first thing we want to do is you want to go to the developer website or the developer tab and you want to click on XML mapping. And then you're going to drop this down to that what you see over here. So that is basically so I can pull in those placeholders for the fields and the tables that I want to add here in this Word document when I'm pulling data in from Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and do that. And as you can see, now I see here opportunity information. And if I scroll all the way down, I also see product opportunities fields. And I see my customer account fields, right? Address fields, etc. So now I can start populating my document with these fields from Dynamics 365. Now, if you have, for example, another Word document that, you know, has the tables and everything configured, you can just copy and paste that over to this document. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so let me just paste that in there. And as you can see, if you're going to zoom in a little bit more, here is my empty Word document with these tables already configured. So now we can start adding data from Dynamics 365. So in the to field, for example, the first thing I want to do is add the name of the customer account. So I'm going to the opportunity underscore customer underscore accounts relationship. And this is the account record. So I'm going to look for the name field. I'm going to then right click on that. Click on insert content control and then I'm going to select plain text. Now if I wanted to do additional information. So what I had what I showed you guys was actually, I'm going to go back up here, was underneath the account name, I had the contact full name. So now I'm going to the other relationships, opportunity parent contact, and I'm going to look for the full, here's the full name. So now I'm pulling in information from the contact record, right? So this is kind of how you can fill up that that area right over here and then of course also this salesperson is from let's just go here to the other relationship the salesperson is from that owner opportunity owner owning user so again we're gonna pull in that full name of that user as a sales rep again insert contact con content control plain text the quote ID is actually coming from the opportunity itself. So I'm just going to go scroll up. Are we in the opportunity? Yes, we are. And we want the new opportunity ID. And here it is. Plain text. So that's kind of how you can do those fields. Now I'm going to very quickly add the additional information in the to field and here in this top line as well.
And now I want to show you how we can actually pull in that table of opportunity products. So I'm going to put in the information from the opportunity products. So let me just scroll down here and we want to look at the opportunity products underscore opportunities table. And I'm going to put in the fields that I want here. So that is my quantity. Then I want my product ID name here as my item number. Also as my description. And then I want my price per unit. And I want here manual discount amount. And then I want my line total, which is my extended amount. Right, the other, what we see underneath here is coming from the opportunity. So discount percentage, total discount amount. My subtotal is a total amount less freight. My sales tax is a total tax. And then my total amount, my total is that total amount. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter that real quick. Now, keep in mind that you probably want to pretty this up a little bit, right? So you might want to go ahead and say, let me just make this a little bit bigger, right? We want to make sure that we highlight these. And then for example, say we want them aligned here on the right side, or maybe we want to center that, right? Make sure you do that as well. But now for the actual table, here of products. We want to make sure that in this particular case, the way it is right now, if there are multiple lines in that opportunity for products, AKA if there's multiple products related to the opportunity, it's only going to pull in that first one. So we want to make sure that it's pulling in all of them. So what you need to do is you need to highlight that row and then we're going to go back to the opportunities or the product underscore opportunities relationship. And you're going to right click that. And again, you're going to click on insert content control and you want to make that repeating, right? So if there is additional lines on that product table, right? Related to those opportunities, this will make sure that we pull them in. Okay. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to upload that into Dynamics 365. I'm going to minimize this. As you can see, I'm still in templates. I'm going to click on upload template. We can browse and here is my opportunity template. I'm going to upload that for D365. This is just what your users will see when they're trying to use this template. This is right. Well, we'll show up in a list to pick from. So I'm just going to go ahead and refresh this real quick. So the first thing we want to do is now then turn on that behavior, right? So I'm going to app settings here in the sales hub. And if you look here on the side, you see PDF generation. This is where we can turn this on or off for these entities, right? So you can see it's turned on. So I'm just going to go back to my opportunity. And now let's test it. I'm going to click on create PDF. And here is my opportunity template that I just created. It's going to ask me to save that. So let's go ahead and save that. And let's take a look at the end result. And this is exactly what we wanted, right? We are getting all of our opportunity products. We're getting account information, right? We're getting contact information and we're getting some opportunity information here as well. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week.